Hi, it's Sue from Stamping Sue in Connecticut. Dot blogspot dot com. Today, I'm just going to show you an easy watercolor technique. So, I have this cute little snowman. Happens to be by Unity Stamps. I stamped him with Carva Jet Black ink because it's a waterproof ink. And now we're just going to do some real easy basic watercolor. Taking my Distress ink and I'm pressing it onto my craft sheet. I'm taking a, a water brush. It's just a brush with water in the barrel. Squeeze out a little water to get it started. I have a towel over here on the side that I always wipe it off on. Now I'm just going to take some of the color and I'm going to put a little color in to his wings. Just like that. Okay? And you can put as much or as little color as you want. Then I have the towel over here. I'm going to knock off that color. And I'm going to try some Chip Sapphire, which is a darker blue ink. And I'm just going to put some of that on my, pa my palette sheet here, craft sheet. Take a little bit, and I'm just going to go around the edge to add a little darkness to it. A little shadowing. Okay. Wipe off that one. I'm going to take some of the Broken China onto my craft sheet. Take a little bit of that and we'll just color in his little patches. Then we'll just add a little more color here to his wings. This is just a very free form style of watercolor. I'm going to take some more of the chip sapphire. Just do a stick arm. <coughs> Excuse me. And I like to put a little bit of the sapphire down here at the bottom of his sweater. Just to darken that up. Take some of the lighter. This happens to be the peacock. And just do a little bit of that. A little bit of color in his face here. The snowballs. And like I said, this is really free form. There's no thinking, just go for it. And then I'll add some sapphire. I'm just using all these blue inks. Wipe it off on the side on the towel. Then we'll take some of the wilted violet. And I'm going to do his little hat. I'm going to give it a little turn. Like so. I like to give him a little rosy cheeks, but in this case we're going to use the wilted violet. Just get a little dot on the side of his cheeks. Like so. We'll give a little purple in his scarf. And just going to go around like every other square. I think the purple really highlights everything, so I like to do a little purple by the sn snowballs also. I 
And that's basically it. I'm going to flip this over so I don't get my cards to call it. And you can just keep going. Color some more in. So that's the one I did today. Here's some others I did ahead of time. And that's my easy watercolor technique for today. Thank you for stopping by. Visit Stamping Sue in Connecticut.blogspot.com to see more samples. Thank you.